Yo, 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 everybody. Hey, welcome to the Real Chances. My name is Real. No. <laughs> I'm already messing up right in the beginning, y'all. Okay, let's do this once again because I noticed last stream I did not introduce myself. If you are new here, my name is Clantus and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's called The Real Clantus Tutorials. Here we do all things related to YouTube topics. So if you just started your own YouTube channel and you're probably wondering, oh, what do I do next after uploading this video? Or oh, how do I start my own YouTube channel? Or oh, how to get rid of me fearing to start a YouTube channel. So this is the right platform for you to get some tips, get some tricks, and also some hacks on how you can um, begin to stand up on your own two feet because these streets if anybody ever told you about youtube probably you've heard a lot of youtubers telling you that youtube is not easy because it is not easy you are coming here to exercise patience endurance perseverance as well as lots of tears especially if you are going to do this your own way because uh, unfortunately on youtube there's no man that is an island. We are all a community. YouTube is about building community. So there's no way that you can go about this by yourself. Now, it's not going to work for you. You're going to get frustrated and you, you'll quit within a few weeks after starting. But such a video is going to come for those that are going to uh, have their New Year's resolutions for 2023 to start a YouTube channel. I will lay it out all for you, all the new rules, all the new uh, developments on YouTube, how YouTube itself is no longer the YouTube you used to think it was. Things have changed in 2022 on YouTube. Uh, it's frustrating a lot of YouTubers all across the world, all these changes that are taking place. So if you are a YouTuber and you're wondering why this platform keeps changing, you are not alone in asking those frustrating questions. And I am here to make it easy for you to understand. Uh, as I always make sure that whenever I do these, uh, these videos, I don't use the big English. I make sure that a man on the street can understand what I'm talking about. Not to say I'm undermining anybody's intellectual uh, capacity. No. This is for comprehension. Not all of us comprehend the same. Even intelligent people, they don't understand the same uh, way as the other person. Hence, uh, you will find intellectuals debating an issue that is so easy to understand, but because they have different uh, understanding, then they will argue their perspective about whatever the issue is. So that is why I make it extremely easy for all of us. So let me go into the comment section because we've got four people on my side, as I can see. Please do like the live, guys. It really helps with the algorithm as well. Uh, let me say hello to uh, Pilu. Hi, Pilu. It's good to see you here once again. You are number two because uh, the Mbisanes had to go due to load shedding. I was so excited today to see that we were not, in fact, in fact, this morning we were no chatted, but for only five minutes. Can you imagine the shock on my face and the confusion at the same time? Like, where, where, what's going on? Five minutes from eight o'clock to five past eight in the morning, we were no chatted. Then I thought, okay, maybe at 12, they're going to no chat us, or at 10, they're going to no chat us. No. It did not happen. But the moment I opened my door coming back from work, I switched on the light. It says, hey, dude, goodbye. <laughs> I was like, what? So load shedding is still ongoing. So the light came back at 6. Um, no, actually half past 6, not at 6. Um, but I'm happy because um, at the end of the day, here we are. This was very important for me. I didn't think that we were going to be load shedded. Hence, I put out the notification for this live 
sometime after, I think it was 9 a.m. this morning, because I was not sure whether to go live or not to go live. Are we going to be load shaded? What's going on? So you'll never know these things. It's so, you just never know. Very frustrating. Cozy girl is in the house. Hey, how are you? <laughs> it's good to see you. Um, Peter says, hello, lovely brother and friend. Hello to you too. Thank you. Indeed, you are also my lovely sister. Thank you so much for coming through. Dando, hi. How are you? Good to see you here. I was watching your vlog, um, driving along the streets that I used to drive in Durban. Such nostalgic moment for me. And I thought, oh my goodness, why did the GPS lady take you all the way around when there was a very shortcut to where you guys were going to? But anyways, it was good to uh, tour uh, the city of Durban through your video. Thank you so much for that one. I enjoyed it. Uh, Journey with Auxiliary Nurse Malebo. Hi, guess what I have here? Mm. You see, I listen. I listen to you guys. You see, even I have Bustle. Yep. Because of uh, gardening with Betty, she's the one who, who gave me this idea to get Bustle. And I can tell you, today I only coughed twice. Last night, I did not cough. I went through, hey, before I get to last night, people, and my video. <laughs> I'm talking about the October video that I was supposed to upload at 11. You will not believe what happened. But anyways, I'll tell that story as uh, when I'm finished with the comment section. I see there is um, uh, Dikoliza. Did I pronounce that correctly? Dikoliza. If you are still an upcoming YouTube creator, do you add AdSense or not? No. Unfortunately, you cannot add uh, Google. You can create an account, a Google AdSense account, so that when you when you become eligible for monetization, meaning you have reached the 1,000 uh, subscriber mark as well as 4,000 public watch hours, uh, since starting your YouTube video, uh, you, since starting your YouTube channel within 12 months, then uh, you can now activate your, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> you can activate your Google AdSense account and uh, you will start making money on YouTube. But for now, while you are still an upcoming YouTuber who is under 1,000 subscribers, uh, under 1,000 subscribers and under 4,000 hours of watch time, you still have to upload few more videos until um, you become eligible for monetization. Then you apply for monetization. Uh, if you go into your YouTube studio and then you go under monetization, uh, you will see there are two requirements there. There are two, what do you call this? Is it tables? One is for subscribers and the other one is for your watch hours. And then just at the bottom, they will ask you a question if you would like them to send you an email when you become eligible for monetization. Click that, make it green so that when the time comes, they will send you an email to say, okay, your channel is now ready to apply for monetization. Then you can do that. I hope that answers your question. Uh, gardening with Betty, I was just talking about you. I was just talking about you, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, don't talk about coughing. You will start to. And I was about to. Let me tell you something. This is so psychological, I'm telling you. <laughs> mm. Another thing, uh, if you've been following me for some time, you know that I hate uh, drinking uh, on videos because there's always that dead space when you are drinking. But guys, you know, we, we, we got to do this to heal. And I'm enjoying both the remedies that were not necessarily... Okay, Malebo suggested the home remedy, which was lemon, ginger, as well as honey. So in my grocery yesterday, I bought those things, uh, except for lemon, because they did not have lemon. Um, Woolworths was already closed when I got to Eastgate yesterday. So Jay Johnson, yesterday was a mess. Yesterday, well, I don't know how I got through yesterday. It was such a mess for me. And I do not like messy things. I'm a semi-perfectionist, 
but uh, I do leave room for some kind of mess or chaos, but I don't want chaos to be the one that, that overrides everything else. Yesterday, chaos was just overriding everything, all because of that load shedding schedule that threw me off. I hated it. I hated it. Uh, confidence is in the house, but she goes by Confidence Kitchen. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome. Thank you so much for uh, uh, coming in, guys. So let me tell you what happened yesterday. So yeah, I wake up in the morning, do my um, my uh, vlog, um, and, and, and everything is going well. Everything is going according to plan. And uh, I'm just so comfortable knowing that come 10 o'clock, I'm going to leave the office, run just down the road to uh, buy some few things for uh, for my cooking vlog. Because yesterday's vlog was supposed to be a cooking vlog. And then the thing that I was going to eat for my dinner was inspired by U Uzwilena Entertainment. It's a YouTube channel. She cooked um, a pasta with pilchard what is it fish yeah fish with uh some vegetables the only thing that i don't eat that she added on there was baked beans i cannot stand baked beans so that's the only thing that i was not going to add but i like that combination something that i used to eat when i was at university um i i think many uh students live on tin fish <laughs> And for a good 15 years, I have not touched tin fish because, yay, that used to be our staple. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. So uh, as I was saying, um, then I get to work, continue filming my vlog. And so just as I sat down to start working, because I had a Zoom call that I needed to get uh through it was an international call and as i was busy at, in the in the, basically in the backstage at the yeah backstage the lights just go goodbye and uh you do see my reaction in my vlog where i throw my hands in the air in frustration and i'm like oh my goodness what do i do now but anyways i had warned thankfully i had warned the the people on the other side of the world that we are experiencing load shedding uh but i had said to them the meeting must be done by 10 o'clock otherwise while we're having the meeting we'll be switched off but eight o'clock boom lights were gone now i had to make a call an international call to say hey guys uh looks like we were rescheduled to be switched off much earlier so yeah mm -mm. That was bad. That was bad. <laughs> that was very, very bad. Country says, lol, tin fish and noodles. Yeah, that's what we lived on. I want to say something more. Okay, and let me just say it because it's our reality when we're students. And then you go to the loo. And then your stuff kind of smells. <laughs> I hope you're not eating. <laughs> I hope, you <laughs> yeah, life of a student is tough. I'm telling you, tin fish with noodles or tin fish with pasta. But pasta, I think it used to be like a luxury. If you had pasta, yeah, it was a luxury. Uh, noodles, yeah, it's something that you lived on. So as I was saying then, um, after that, I, I thought, okay, what do I do now? Of course, I can't leave the office because I've got so many other stuff to do that I thought I was going to do um, much after the load shedding at 10 to 12. So then I ended up doing those things, like pushing some more files and pushing some more documents. And then after that, I thought, OK, what do I do after work? Do I continue uh, with my cooking vlog, going to do the grocery stuff and all the things that I needed? especially the medication that I needed, the Bostol. I needed the Bostol more than I needed anything else. Um, because I remember as a kid, in as much as I hated Bostol, castor oil, uh, brooklets, 
all that stuff that our parents used to give us to clean our systems, I hated them. But I knew they also worked. When I used to be sick as a kid, I knew Boston worked. As awful as it tasted, it worked. So that is why I felt like, oh, no, 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 no. Definitely, definitely let me get it and, and see what's going to happen. And it did exactly what I thought it was going to do. And I'm fine. So now let's get, okay. And then I do the, the shopping, as you guys saw. And I knew that after that, I needed to edit the video, the the the, the, um, the Vlogtober 2022 day five. And I wanted it to be up still on the 5th of October, at least the latest at half past 11. So I'm done uh, uh, doing everything that I, I, I needed to do. I was done unpacking my groceries at half past eight. By quarter to nine, I was eating my dinner. Remember, I had chicken licken. And then by nine o'clock, I started editing. I thought, okay, there's a, because I was about an hour, 45 minutes long, um, uh, what do you call this footage? Then I was like, oh my goodness, this is a long. So anyways, I said, okay, I'm going to go through it and, and edit what I need for the, for the vlog. Would you guys ended up seeing it earlier this morning? So here I was, I thought, okay, I was done by, by quarter to 11. I was done editing and now it was time to export. And the video was 49 minutes long. And I knew 49 minutes long exportation is going to take at least an hour, 15 minutes, an hour, 30 minutes. And so I put it on, I clicked the export button, and indeed it says one hour, 17 minutes. Then I'm looking at the time, I'm like, okay, that means uh, at least around maybe 5 to 12. Sometimes it, my export does go quicker than what the time is saying or the prediction is saying. But like, at least it's going to be uploaded by by 5 to 12 because my wi-fi is very fast so i didn't worry about the wi-fi i was only worried about the export so here i was i told myself i'm just going to lie in bed while it exports but there was this voice behind my head saying no sit on your in your youtube studio and export that way you will not fall asleep then of me thinking, uh, and I'm not going to fall asleep. I lie on my bed. The exploitation continue uh, going on. And uh, the next thing I remember, I was jumping halfway in the air thinking, oh, my goodness, what time is it? And I look at the time. It's 4.30 in the morning. The video had exported and completed hours ago. I was like, you see, this video did not want to be uploaded. It just did not want to be uploaded at all. So it was just chaotic. I apologize that I day five was skipped, even though the the the, the Vlogtober video says Vlogtober day five. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm glad that. I, I woke up and then I, I after that, I started to, uh, to upload it. Uploading took literally uh, 45 seconds. So that's why I say I'm not worried about my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is very, very quick in uploading. So it was done. I did it and I, I, I listed it because I wanted to see with the music that I was using, if they I was going to catch any copyright claims. Because sometimes this free music you will get surprised when you see copyright claim. You're like, wait a minute, but this is copyright free music. Why would you be giving me a copyright claim? But anyways, it also turns out that even though they say that that is actually not a real copyright claim, I don't know how that mess with YouTube uh, um, goes on. But anyways, there were no copyright claims. Then I, uh, then I made it public and the reception of it was incredible. Thank you guys ever so much for your support. Uh, vlog tobing is not easy. I think everybody that is doing it or participating can attest to that. Very, very tough, but it's, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it because you guys are so supportive. 
you guys are encouraging me. Uh, I will get criticism, which I accept, by the way. Uh, and I love the fact that the people that are criticizing me, they are so constructive and so respectful about it. I thank you for that, guys. Let me go to the comments. Auxiliary, uh, journey of an auxiliary nurse, Maleba. I'm just going to call you Maleba, not by your channel name. <laughs> Since then... <laughs> What was I supposed to do? <laughs> Vele, what did we do? What did we do to deserve load shedding people? Come on. <laughs> ah, it works. Yeah, it works. It works. Uh, how, how has it been for you, um, Betty, the boss star? How has it worked for you? Because for me, as you can tell, so far, I've only had three attempts of coughing, but my lungs are well oiled because <laughs> postal is an it's oil right it's like very awful oil uh jay hi jay hello 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 vanessa hi vanessa how are you doing yay copyright free music is a trap speak on it actually <clears throat> from what i understand uh cozy girlie is that some artists who put up these music either on our um, editing tool uh, because the music that you hear on my vlogs is music that i uh, abstracted from my editing tool and uh, so the vlog the first vlog i was hit with a copyright claim so that is why if you go to that vlog i think around the 16th minute there's complete silence. It's like muted. That's because I edited that music out because it had a copyright claim. And I was like, there is no way that I'm told that this music that I picked is copyright free. And then here I am getting a copyright claim. So I went into my YouTube studio and then I edited it out. And so when you watch the video, uh, at 60, I think it's 16 minutes, 16 minutes somewhere. I don't know. I'm not quite sure, but it's around 16, 17 minutes. So for three minutes, that entire uh, vacuum is just silence. Uh, so I think some artists, what they do is when they realize that a lot of content creators are using their, their, their material and the content creators are making money clearly out of the videos, then they also want a piece of that. Oh, I understand it's, it, it's also a job of theirs to put out this music, to, to compose a song, to produce it, paying the studio and distribution and all of that is hard work. And also uh, money is also involved. So now why not turn and let me as a content creator decide whether I wanna use your music or not rather than trapping me like that. So I did not appreciate that at all. What could all present? Hope I did not miss a lot. Had to, um, what is that? First, all right. Um, let, did I tell you that I'm dyslexic? So dyslexic people, when they see abbreviations and acronyms, we see stuck as We were like, well, how do we move forward? <laughs> or bath, or after bathing. No, 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 you have not missed much. Just only 25 minutes. <laughs> I know. I also understand wanting to earn why the dishonesty. Exactly. But you know, I'll tell you something, Cozy Girly. The, the when I looked at the status, YouTube was honest about it. Like, no, just because I'm, I'm hit with a copyright claim does not mean that at some point when the video start, starts making money, uh, the, the artist will claim money from me. It's okay, I can use the music. For me, I was like, no, 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 no. I'm just muting it out. I mean, I don't want to uh, to be trapped like that ever again. So I just muted it out. Um, yeah, that's what I did. Vanessa says, guys, attend events in your city. 
for vlogging ideas. Look at your city calendar for events, parades, farmers markets, football games, etc. Yeah, sure. Um, I don't want to say something that might offend some other people who may do this, but South Africans, we are not much of um, parade type of country. Um, yes, we do have farmers markets. We do have football, well, we call them soccer games. Uh, but usually for us, when we want to have fun, we want to have fun. We don't want to be holding a camera this side and uh, basically working. Fun is fun for us. I don't know. It's just how I understand us. I could be wrong, but what you are saying is 100% correct. As a content creator, find opportunities to create videos and use these events to fulfill or show off to your audience that might not be South Africans or they are South Africans but live in different cities. I 100% agree with you on that one. But um, the culture is that when we have fun, we do not want <laughs> to, to be disturbed. <laughs> uh, Betty says copyright music is a trap. Uh, what, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, yeah. Copyright music is a trap. But that's why I made peace that you guys, you're going to listen to the birds. <laughs> For the longest time, since I, I've started my YouTube channel, you will never hear... You will hear music, but very softly in the background. Very, very, very softly. <clears throat> but uh, this time around with the vlogs, because in the vlogs, I think you need to have music. So that's why I'm using the music. And I believe it's, it's just going to be for this month, for Vlogtober. I don't think I'll ever use it again. <clears throat> just to be safe. I don't think so. Uh, walking on all says from a consumer, I hate music background. People tend to not control the volume in the back. Yeah, that, that's quite true. Um, I think as well, it also depends on the scene. <clears throat> if the scene they believe needs to uh, be amplified with music, then they will put the volume loud. But I believe that the, the music should be moderate. That is why... Uh, I believe, I don't know if you've noticed, I know that I, I ought to mute the some, some background sounds, like maybe I'm fidgeting with something or opening my, my closet and things like that. I know I can mute that and then put music on top. But I like the SAMR in the background as well, opening of the, um, the closet. The, the shower sound, me walking with my slippers in the house and breathing. I like that. I like that because it gives some kind of realism that this is real. This is a, it's a reality. <laughs> Rather than muting that and then overlaid with music. So somebody laughed at me about that. I was like, no, I know. I know I'm doing this deliberately. They're like, yeah, you don't know how to edit. I'm like, so in my yesterday's vlog, if you uh, paid attention, when I was in uh, Discam, I'm not sure where else I was, or when I was also on the road, I muted uh, that that trip. I muted it, and then you saw the sun as a, a setting and stuff like that. That was because I'm showing this person who was like, I think they were trying to mock me, uh, that I know that you can mute and then overlay them, uh, what you call this, put music on top and uh, you don't have to hear anything else. <sighs> yeah. Being a content creator, you come across a lot of people. You have those that are smart and, and supportive and then you have those who just dive into a swimming pool with no water. Uh, EU copyright music is the ghetto. I deleted one of my videos because I had copyright claim and I felt like YouTube was not promoting my video. Yeah, that's the thing. Once uh, YouTube flags that song, it's downhill from there. Forget that you will, your video is going to uh, see the day of light 
on the platform. That's the death of your video. So that is why I thought, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Even though I, the artist might not take anything from me, I do not want to be lied to. So I just removed it. I just removed it. So guys, um, in this live stream, I also wanted to talk about the things that I wanted to talk about in yesterday's Vlogtober, uh, which was um, <clears throat> some tips uh, for you guys, especially who are under 4,000 hours of watch time, but you already have the 1,000 subscribers, you're just working on the um, on your watch time, you can do live stream like this one. You can go live streaming, but if you do not know what ideas or tips uh, that you should carry with you to do this, I have them for you. I have them for you. It's about 15 of them. If you are interested, please uh, show me a thumbs up and also like this uh, live. I will highly appreciate that. So I can show you what are the ideas that you can run with uh, to building your 4,000 hours of watch time using live streaming. However, though, one thing that you need to understand about live streaming, you're not allowed to go beyond, I think, 12 hours. I could be wrong. I can't remember exactly. Uh, I think it's after, let's say 12 hours to for now. Uh, in my next live stream, I will confirm how long you can live stream for to build up your 4,000 hours of watch time. Um, but me, I would advise you that do not go beyond two hours. Do not go beyond two hours. The reason why I'm saying that YouTube is continuously changing. There might come a time where YouTube will start because before YouTube allowed you to live stream the entire night, entire day, and all that watch time accumulated goes to your 4,000 4, hours. So they chopped that off just recently. I think about maybe 11 months ago or 12 months ago, they no longer allow you to do like these so-called silent live streams where you just turn on the camera and nobody is even in front of the camera. Uh, you all is for watch hours all for watch hours so i would say do for two hours that's it at most two hours but me i want to i, I like uh lives that are about an hour hour 30 minutes long uh if i sit through a two hour is because i really 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 enjoy the content creator i'm highly uh invested in their growth as well as their success on the platform. But other than that, mm, no. So please do let me know if you want these tips or you want me to create to create a long form video and dish them there. Do let me know. <clears throat> My level says, Vanessa, I'm laughing because I was telling one of the YouTubers that I'm scared to attend events because my Samsung broken screen phone the bar is set high with iphones and camera <laughs> why why would you torture yourself like that you know what those that are around you they will see a broken screen but you know that on youtube you are adding value that's the important thing you adding value nobody sees once your video is up on YouTube, what camera you were using, whether your phone was broken screened, nobody cares about that. You know, go and 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 capture the moments, bring them, bring those moments for us to consume. That's all that we care about. We don't care about the equipment you are using to film your video. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stan. <laughs> um, I know he is. Uh, I know he. Camera, cameras everywhere. And I also know the feeling as well. Um, you go to an event and people have taken out the best of the best cameras as well as uh, phones, the iPhones. Can't you, we not, we're not allowed to say phones. We need to say iPhone. <laughs> Timba Wangu, how are you, my friend? Are you all right? 
It's good to see you here. Thank you for joining. I highly appreciate your support right there. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm definitely trying, but the anxiety beeps so harsh. In <laughs> no, no, no. Don't mind all that. We don't care. We don't care. We just want you to add value in our lives with your content. And then we walk away satisfied. That's it. That's it. If you want to show us that, oh, I have this camera or I have this phone that I'm filming, then it's a good story to tell when you are a big successful YouTuber someday that this is what I used to film with. This is how I built my success. You know, things like that do make really, really good stories in the future. So don't underestimate it. Don't undermine yourself. It's a great story. Yeah, iPhone. Because <laughs> if you say, if you say, oh, your phone is so nice, they'll just say, no, it's an iPhone. iPhone. Like, oh, I, I'm sorry. It's like, yeah, you don't mix me with the Androids people. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I can call an iPhone. An iPhone can call me on an Android. What is the fight about? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Vanessa says, in New York, everyone is a vlogger. Yep. I saw it as well. Everybody's a vlogger. Um, it's only you who be like, okay, where's my phone? <laughs> or my camera or something. <laughs> you just see people setting up tripods and filming, and the public just passed. Nobody cares. Absolutely. Nobody cares. Absolutely. I think I also didn't care. I just walked by. Like, I think I don't want to mind other people's business. But you see a lot of TikTokers. Most of the tripods you will see uh, in Times Square uh, will be uh, not exactly not Times Square. Um, what that gardens call again? Uh, it's just TikTokers in in most cases. So yeah, but you're right. Uh, this platform and TikTok and Instagram, Americans, they take it very, very seriously. Um, that's why they are making millions, millions of dollars because um, they, they take the art and this business very, very seriously. Um, uh, that girl, Irene, hi, hello. I haven't spoken to you in a very long time. How are you doing, my friend? It's good to see you. Thank you for coming. Vanessa, you just inspired me. <laughs> yeah, I, I I think she she had a great point there. That go to an event, go to a farmer's market, um, and capture the moment. Capture the moment. We will watch. Definitely. We will definitely watch. <laughs> um, let's see. Vanessa, please arrange for my plane ticket because... Yeah, in South Africa, it's like you're committing a crime. In, uh, you see, you know, this, this, this Malebo, it upsets me so much. You know why it upsets me so much? It's because it's lack of us being educated about our constitutional rights. So if you, you can Google this, you can know this, and then go to Google because the Constitution is also in on Google. Go to section 16 of the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa. Ne? It is the freedom of, of expression clause. Now, if you go to subsection, okay, it's, it's section 16.1. Look at subsection A and B. It talks about content creators. It may use a different uh, terminology, but you are that person that you have the right to do that. So nobody, unless they have a court uh, order to say the constitutional court granted me this order that allows me to tell you not allowed to film here. They are not allowed to tell you you are not allowed to film here. You need to demand for that uh, policy that is in line with the Constitution of the Republic. Because you need to identify yourself to those small securities or park securities 
and say, I'm a content creator, I am an artist, and the constitution protects me to do what I'm doing. This is a public space. The malls are not the law unto themselves. They have to abide and run with the laws of this country. So they cannot now come and tell you that you're not allowed to film here. Even in Eastgate yesterday, there was this big security guards with AK-47. They tried me and I was like, give, give me your manager. I became a Karen. Give me your manager. Some dude came with big white guy. And I said, sir, according to, this, to section 16 of the constitution, this that you're trying to tell me is incorrect unless you can produce me a constitutional court judgment. Let me tell you something. That guy was like, he told the security guys, guys, leave him. He's correct. So they are taking chances, guys. They are taking chances. Do not allow it. it, it they can't even arrest you. If they call the police, then you, the, what are the police going to do? They are not the, above the Constitution. The police are not above the Constitution either. So I hope uh, content creators can understand this, that you are not they are not allowed to tell you to switch off your camera. The mall is in South Africa and it needs to abide by the constitution of this country. They cannot create their own laws. So that is why I get very hyped up when, when I see content creators being mistreated like that. And another thing that I hate about this, black content creators are not treated the same as other race content creators because you walk in the same mall, there are nobody's is bothering them but they feel comfortable to come to us and tell us you are not allowed to film here. According to who? According to what law? Show me the law and then I will respect you. I will respect it and I will respect you and I will switch off my camera. But if you can't, there's nothing you can do to me. They can't incarcerate me. If they do, a lawsuit, a clear lawsuit. So there we go. Um, Vanessa says, let's normalize public vlogging. The public should get used to us crazy people talking into our cameras alone. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Been watching you in the quiet. Oh, okay. Thank you, Irene. I highly appreciate your support there. Yeah, Americans take YouTube serious. South Africans are busy fighting on public spaces. That's the problem with us, our, our white counterparts, our Indian counterparts, our colored counterparts, and Chinese counterparts. Guess what, guess what they are doing? They are on nobody's throat. Nobody, except for black people. And this phenomenon is not only here in South Africa. If you go to Nigerian YouTube, they are like, and you're looking at these people and you are looking at their content, you are like, this person does not make any more than 5,000 rand a month. And then an American white person or a British white person, even a South African white person that does the exact same content as the Nigerian or a black South African, they're making 50,000 to 100,000 rand a month. I do not understand why do we always... Why do we love shooting at ourselves on the foot? I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. I used to comment a lot on people's channels until war started. I'm not a person who likes fights. Uh, I thought creating this platform was going to assist us as South Africans. We live in a country with unemployment so high that um, we have a crisis that might explode one day. And YouTube is here. And then we could utilize this platform to better our lives ourselves and help each other, not be on each other's throats. For what? What do you gain from being on your fellow South African or fellow Nigerian or Kenyan throat? What do you get from that? I, I wanna understand. Somebody will need to explain it to me like I'm a dummy. Because that's not entertainment. That's not entertainment. That's not content creation. That's just bloody laziness. That's it. You're thinking that being controversial is going to grow my channel. Okay, be controversial. The algorithm is still waiting for you. 
Because when you are dumping on somebody's throat and now you are beginning to think, oh, wait a minute, let me start creating content, the algorithm is waiting for you. And it's going to take you longer to get to where you want to be financially on this platform. I'm watching all of these things. I'm observing. I'm not even participating. And I'm asking myself this question, what are they gaining? Please, somebody tell me, what are you, are you happy with that 5,000 rand that you get a month? Is that the amount of money you want to make for the rest of your life when you can start creating content? Being on, on, on anybody's throat is not going to help you. And I can tell you one thing as well. Being on somebody's throat is also not going to bring brands flocking to you, wanting to collaborate with you. You keep asking yourself why brands don't come to me, why I don't get invited to these events, because you're a cyber bully. <laughs> so that's what you, you are. You're calling yourself a, a content creator. No, you're not a content creator. You're a cyber bully. So I, I did not want to come <laughs> and yeah, but I'm glad somebody said this because I got to cough it out on this live. So whoever here has ears, let them hear. Start creating content. Just avoid talking about other people. Yes, I get it. I get it. Um, it triggers the algorithm. But for how long? How long are you going to keep doing the same thing is my question. And what do you gain from it? I, I want to, please, when you break it down to me, break it down to me like I'm a three-year-old because I will never understand adults doing childish things i'll never um let's see <laughs> yes that's today i was vlogging and people looked uh looked at me like you're crazy or something yeah even yesterday myself i was like yo i this thing is tough you should have uh, seen me becoming mad woman at Col what colono oh my gosh where is that when the security told me that i can't vlog in the mall and they had a warning on the door and i felt defeated no 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 that listen any law or policy that is inconsistent with the constitution of south africa it is invalid so they can have whatever it is they have on their door it does not take away the fact that they are not allowed by law and they cannot argue that they cannot argue that they need to show you the law of South Africa that gives them permission to have that note on their door. That's it. If they can't show it to you, continue vlogging. They will not touch you. If they do, call, let them call the police. And once the, if the police arrest you, you just sue the minister of police and then sue them all. Make money out of them. Walk with all. Oh, I ran away from channels with wearing uh, words. My spirit gets disturbed. Yeah, me too. I, I stopped. <clears throat> I also stopped. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Anyone else batch creating content? Yes, I do. Uh, I definitely do batch, uh, batch film. Now, Lady uh, Vimbani says, hey, Clantus, glad I caught your live. Can you please pin uh, that constitution section on this? Uh, uh, how do I do that again? Okay. Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. Uh, it's section 16. Uh, so it's section 16, subsection 1, subsection A, and subsection B of the uh, of the South African. Uh, blah, 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 constitution. What did I do? <laughs> Here we go. You just show them that. And if you have a copy of your constitution, I always carry my copy. I open it for them and I read it. Like this is the supreme court. This is the supreme law of the country. Show me yours. True, nobody wants to work with a bully. No, um, I've I've interacted before with some um, with some brands before, um, because of the job that I do, and um, 
they are not happy with South African content creators. Creators, uh, they 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 now very picky who they're going to work with. If your if your videos are clean and you are not talking ill of other people, you are the one who find yourself getting in invitations to events. You are the one who's going to find yourself working with these brands and making some serious good money. So while when you are busy throttling somebody else, they're watching you. Uh, um, okay, life on Debu. Ah! <laughs> my sister is in the house. <laughs> I love you, my sister. I love you very much. This is uh, life on Debu. Debu, how are you, my friend? Love you to death. <laughs> <laughs> now they're gonna run and go create a video that I said I love you, and now you are cheating on your husband. <laughs> we will laugh it on WhatsApp. <laughs> yeah, that's that's South African YouTube now, guys. <laughs> Woo, Clarence, the cyber bullies are now a nice niche. It, it works only temporary, let me tell you that. Only temporary, but it's going to hit them at a later stage when they nobody wants to work with them. Nobody wants, I don't know. I don't know what's the end game. I really want to know what is the end game. I, I really want to know. Um, let's see. Okay, you are talking amongst yourself. We keep our cameras on because the cops are here shoot first and ask questions later. Uh, yeah, being black in America is terrible. Yeah, it's, uh, it's terrifying as well. I can imagine why you need to always have your dash cam on or whatever cam. It, it's just, I'm so sorry, you guys. I really am. <clears throat> One devil ish my pastor bay okay <laughs> don't worry pastor bay understands the assignment who oh, pastor bay understands the assignment because he knows devil comes with a package and he said when i say i love you devil he knows that i also mean i love him too because they are my brother and sister i mean hello <laughs> They understand the assignment, so don't worry about Pastor Bay. He might even come through and say, ah, this one, I tell him all the time I love him. <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> oh, yeah, guys. <laughs> okay, so clearly these tips, it's for a long form video then because i thought we were going to go through it if you were wondering uh how do you uh, do a live stream especially if you are under 4000 hours of watch time you can actually build your watch time by going live okay <clears throat> i can't wait to see the thumbnails tomorrow <laughs> Oh my goodness, what would they want from us? <laughs> Especially Ndibu. Ndibu has been the topic. Uh, I watch those videos and I laugh. And then we, so, so we laugh together, actually. Uh, yeah, we crack up. <laughs> we crack up. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, guys, uh, let me not keep you guys for too long. Is there anything that you would want to say before I say good night? And um, the next live, guys, guys, is going to be on Saturday. As you guys know, I go live three times a week during Vlogtober 2022. So this is Vlogtober Day 6. Yeah, this is Vlogtober 2022 Day 6. And uh, tomorrow, 
um, I have an exciting vlog that I want to create in the morning. Hopefully by five o'clock, it's going to be up. And uh, Saturday, of course, live. Sunday, another vlog. Well, Sunday vlogs, I, I love them because you'll get to see things that I do on a Sunday, including cooking, including many other stuff that I like doing. So um, check it out and uh, you'll have fun. So is there anything else that you guys would like us to discuss before I say good night? No? Yes? Yes? No? <laughs> okay, then. <clears throat> Let me say goodbye, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, please don't leave the, this stream without pressing the like button. Also, if you're not subscribed and you're just watching, please do subscribe and click the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new uh, either a new vlog or a new shorts or new live stream. Let's see what happens thereafter. Thank you all so much. And let me say good night. And I love you. I love you all. I love you all. I do. I really do. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah.